Uh, we take any threat of schools, churches, buildings seriously. And, you know, in, in Gates here, we're going to investigate it to the end. And a suspect is in jail tonight. Police say threatened to shoot up Gates Chilai High School. That sent the schools into lockdown today. New at 11, News to NBC has confirmed this is not the first time the former student has made threats against the school. News to NBC's Raven Brown joins us live from the Monroe County Jail. Raven? Hey, Brett, Jonathan Jordan is in custody here at the jail tonight. Uh, the Gates Police Chief told me the 24-year-old is known to police and does have a criminal record. It allowed us to uh, verify uh, everybody's location and safety. And by executing those protocols, all our kids went home and our staff went home safely today. Gates Chilai Superintendent Christopher Daly says they quickly implemented their lockout protocols after a parent noticed a Facebook post from former Gates Chilai High School student Jonathan Jordan. The post read that he was going to shoot up his school. Uh, we take any threat of schools, churches, buildings seriously. And, you know, in, in Gates here, we're going to investigate it to the end. And, that's what we did today and had a had a good outcome on this one. Law enforcement sources confirmed to News 10 NBC that this is the same Jordan that sent Gates Chile High School into lockout back in 2015. Clearly, this young man has a very serious problem. At the time, Jordan was 17 years old. Officers say back then, Jordan came to the school high on cocaine, then demanded to be let inside. When a school officer said no, they say he picked up a table and smashed the glass. He immediately uh, rushes over to a wall and grabs a CO2 fire extinguisher and began shooting the fire extinguisher off uh, in, that, in that foyer area, which, as you can imagine, uh, created uh, qu quite a mess and, and quite a scene. At the time, police say they later found this knife on the floor. Now, seven years later, Chief Long says he's not sure what would have happened if that parent didn't report the threat they saw. This could have turned out to be somebody actually posting something. And then, like in Buffalo, the, the kid posted on social media and then went through with his threat. So in this situation, we were able to see that there was a post and react to that quick enough where we could intercept it and make sure that nothing did happen. Jordan is charged with making a terroristic threat, which is a class D felony. His bail is set at 100,000 cash, 200,000 bond. Daily says classes will resume, classes and activities will resume as normal tomorrow. For now, live in Rochester, Raven Brown News 10 NBC. Thank you, Raven.